to the one-directional mind of this young girl. So, how did you get him? Asked Candy Girl. Um, well, well, um... With Roderick discombobulated in front of the shop, Robin had to come up with her own story. She scrambled through her memory banks, delaying the conversation and waiting in hopes that I would narrate a few good ideas for her. But I won't, because this is her problem, not mine. Nice try, Robin, but I won't be falling for that one again. Luckily, timing was on her side today. Hello, said Robin joyfully. Come in, Mrs. Hong. What can I do for you? Oh, Robin, my daughter's digital clock broke. Is there any way you could fix it? Robin thought out loud. Hmm, digital clocks aren't my speciality, but I'm sure I can do something. Let me take it in for a while. How does it break? Mrs. Hong simply replied, She killed a man. <gasps> Figuratively speaking, that <sighs> is. No. I mean, literally. <gasps> but he didn't die. <sighs> Until his heart exploded. So, I'll get this clock working for you again soon, right? Interrupted Robin. I'll be back soon. With the cats dumbfounded by the complexity of Roderick's body structure, Robin was left with the challenging task of fixing Mrs. Hong's clock in X amount of time. And if Mrs. Hong moves half the speed of Candy Girl, but with twice the attention span, divided by the variable clock, and added to Roderick's DVD collection, how many peanuts are left in the magician's hat? Please write down your answer now, and we'll return to this problem at the end of the first season. Aha! Finished! But you've turned it into a cuckoo clock, and there's a strange cat on your countertop, said Mrs. Hong. This way, your daughter will take more care of her things, rambled Robin. That, and I sort of forgot what I was doing while fixing it. Now, when she wants to know the time, she'll have to remember to set the clock every 24 hours. Where did you end up getting all those parts? We found them, in a pile somewhere. I can't tell you where, because if I did, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Why did I laugh? I don't know. That's not funny. I don't know. I don't... That's let's, not funny. Let's give it a test run, shall we? Excuse me, I think I just made a windy. Hmm, well, everything seems to be in order. Thank you, Robin. You know, the last time we saw that light, did you know that Penrold read through all of these books? Even Robin's diary? Smart cat! Wait, there are pages missing. You think so? 